Hi everyone, I'm Hazdalol and I'm a film and game director at Hazimation. And today I just want to share some thoughts with you guys. And that is the thoughts of tools used to, for your day-to-day -day job. So first off, this is not a software bashing video at all. What What are you talking about? And um, this is purely my thoughts sharing with you guys. And hopefully in return, you guys share your thoughts to me about this topic. So firstly, I have always been a massive user of Adobe Suite right back to 2011. Hell, I even, you know, spoke at IBC and all these big conferences of, you know, about my use of Adobe tools, tools to make my short, short films, films and so on. Most of my work is pretty much done on the Adobe Creative Cloud. Now, I'm gonna stand here and tell you that filmmaking is a business. Yes, it's an art, it's a craft, but you're making a movie for the studio to be played in the cinema. So you have to think from a commercial point of view while still trying to retain your voice as a director. But the last few months, I've actually canceled my Adobe subscription. <sighs> Wonder why. Okay, a lot of reasons, but the main ones I'm gonna share with you today are two things. Firstly, their ethics on AI and generative AI in general. Don't get it wrong, I think generative AI is great and it's going to be exploding even further than it is today. I've written a massive article on Post Perspective, which you can check out in the link in the description, where I go into detail about why I'm not comfortable about generative AI right now to create commercial work. Love generative AI for creating just mock-ups and just having fun, but as a commercial artist, as a filmmaker, as a, as a game director. The other thing also is I'm paying something like 57 pounds a month for for the Adobe Suite, which is fine if I'm using every single thing in there, but I'm not, right? So I felt like I didn't need to pay that much for something I don't use much of. So I decided to cancel. And when I canceled, surprise, surprise, I got a, a hit by a massive bill of something like 190 pounds or something as a cancellation fee. Oh, that can't be good. Which I thought was a bit weird. It wasn't really about the it wasn't really about the number. It was more to do with I've been a loyal customer. Why would I get hit that fee? So that was even more inspiration to cancel <laughs> immediately. I paid the fee, obviously. But then that left with what am I going to use as an alternative? So what I've been doing is to replace my Photoshop, I'm using Affinity. Now Affinity is phenomenal. It comes with Affinity Photo, Affinity Designer, and it's just as good in my opinion as Photoshop. Of course you don't have generative fill. There's a couple of other things that Photoshop does so well it doesn't have, but to be honest with you, I don't miss that because I'm more importantly creating original content, manipulating my images, and as long as I've got layers and brushes, that's kind of all I need. And the cool thing about Affinity is you pay the one-off fee and you own it for a lifetime, including free updates, which is awesome. And of course, it supports the creative community, which means there are people creating brushes, creating packs, and all kinds of add-ons for the Affinity software, which I can just go and buy some for like 20 quid. I get some brushes for $5. I get additional brushes or additional elements. It's a great way to create community. And I really believe this industry is about community, especially the way tools are more developed independently rather than big giant corporations. So that's that's what I'm using at the moment, Affinity. To replace editorial, i.e. Premiere, I'm using DaVinci Resolve. Now, I have to admit, I actually stopped using Premiere for like six or seven years. You know, ever since I've been using Resolve, like 11 or something, which I made my first feature film, The Beyond, entirely in DaVinci Resolve. I, I love it. It's fantastic. And yeah, it's free for the HD version. I pay mine, for, I think, 300 bucks and I get the 4K version. And it's amazing. You know, I don't, ha it's not machine locked. It's not subscription, unless you're going with the cloud based storage thing, which I'm not. And I can run it on my PC and Mac. So yeah, so really, Affinity, DaVinci Resolve. <laughs> I'm pretty much covered, but that's me. I'd love to hear what you guys are doing with your tool set, what you guys use. If you guys use Affinity or Resolve or what alternatives you use, please drop them in a comment below. Until next time, see you on the next video.